Hello everybody, I have done an upgrade from 5820K to 5960X and that gave me an opportunity to actually compare these two CPUs and this will be a 4K gaming uh, comparison. So don't expect any of the professional application comparisons uh, such as Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects and such. That is not going to happen in this video. I will probably make another one if um, if there is enough interest in that so let me know in the comments below if you are interested in that but this will be about gaming so to begin with what i've done was i overclocked both of them to four gigahertz to make it fair uh, that's six cores versus eight cores and one thing i want to mention before uh, before I begin is uh, something that not a lot of people know and not everyone talks about is the thermal compound used inside the CPU so basically uh, there is a difference between these two and even anything with an X at the back so every extreme edition gets a very nice thermal compound inside so this lid covers the the chip inside and there is a thermal compound in between that and this lid uh, and Intel are using their top class uh, thermal compound only on extreme edition CPUs but everything else gets uh, worse thermal compounds so that's why some overclockers actually take off the lid and they replace the thermal compound inside to get uh, better cooling better results in overclocking and also on the subject of PCI lane differences uh, 5820k has 28 lanes 59 5930k and 5960x have 40 do you need that many not really, if you're going for a two-way SLI or something like that, uh, you are, you know, 28 lanes is more than enough because there's no difference between 8x and 16x, it's been proven already. If you don't believe me, go ahead and search it, uh, the test results are out there and you will see that it's the same. And anything below 8, like 4x, it won't actually work, so multi-GPUs will not work with 4x. So minimum you need is 8x and it's absolutely equal to 16x in terms of performance. So don't have to worry there if you are going for a two-way SLI, um, which I recommend anyway because you shouldn't even think about, if, if you're thinking about four-way SLI, please do research before you do buy that because there's a lot of problems with the setup of that configuration and uh, expect some unpleasant things as well after you do set them up in games because there's a lack of optimization in four-way SLI, four-way GPU configurations and, so, and stuff like that. So what I've done today, I've chosen three of my favorite games to test in 4K plus a synthetic, synthetic benchmark, Far Strike Ultra. Uh, those three games are Battlefield 4, Shadow of Mordor and Tomb Raider 2013 but let's begin with with the Fire Strike to have a look at the scores and potential uh, difference between the perf in the performance between these two CPUs so on the left we see 5820k on the right 5960x and as you can see overall score is not there's not a big difference it's a 3.1 percent difference 5960x is the winner over, of overall uh, performance but it's not a lot and as you can see in physics that's where it shines that's where the 8 core CPU shines is in physics tests so but um, if you look at regular games you will notice that there is no difference any difference that you see is within the margin of error and you actually have to look hard to find the game that does benefit from uh, from more cores and more threads yeah so what is the conclusion the conclusion is that if you are just building a PC for purely for gaming 
and nothing else, then 5820K is more than enough for you. It is a perfect choice. You don't have to overspend to get anything more um, out of it. But if you are, even if you are streaming and recording gameplays, 5820K is absolutely good for that. Not even good, perfect. 5860X, who is it for? It's for someone like me who doesn't like to waste time in rendering videos in Vegas or any other um, CPU intensive application. Then 5960X is like a media creator's dream at the moment. And my dream came true and I'm really enjoying it. So that basically makes uh, rendering times a lot I, I'm, I've spent a lot less time rendering and a lot more time actually doing other things like entertainment and uh, more videos for you guys. So yeah, that's basically my conclusion. For gaming, 5820K is all you need. Don't even worry about it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you got any comments or something on your mind, make sure to leave a comment below. I'm reading, reading those and uh, I'll write you a, re a reply if there is something important going on. But until next time, RG out.